G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now today we're going to learn how to cross the road safely. Now we like to do that in two of the preferred places and that is at a zebra crossing, just like this one behind me, or at a set of traffic lights. But no matter where we cross the road, we need to make sure that we remember four key things and that's stop, look, listen and think. So with that in mind kids, let's go and learn how to safely cross at a zebra crossing. Let's go. So kids, as we approach the road, we need to remember those four key things. The first one is to stop, which is what we've done, a safe distance back from the curb so that we are not too close to the road. The second is to look. So we're gonna look right and left a few times just to check out for the cars. The third thing is to listen. So we need to listen out for cars or any vehicles or any dangers that may be about. Now the fourth thing is to think. Are we safe to cross? Is there any vehicles around? If we're good to go, and we're almost ready to cross. But if you're under the age of 10, you need to make sure you're holding the hand of an adult. Now we're at a zebra crossing, so the vehicles should stop for us, but that's why as we're crossing, we need to make sure that we look and listen just to make sure that it's safe all the way across the road. We good to go? Let's go. So kids, we've made it safely across the road using a zebra crossing. The other place to safely cross the road is at a set of traffic lights. So let's go and find some of those and show you how that's done. So kids, we've come up to a set of traffic lights and now we're gonna show you how to safely use the lights to cross the road. Now we've stopped, which is the number one thing that we need to remember when we're crossing any road. Another thing we need to do when we're at the lights is press that button. Because at the moment, there's a little red man, and the red man is telling us that it's not safe to cross the road. So we press that, and we stand and wait patiently for the man to turn green. We also need to listen when we're using the traffic lights, because there's a beep noise, just like that, that tells us that it's safe to cross. If you're under the age of 10, make sure you're holding an adult's hand, and we're good to go. So there you go kids, that's how you safely cross the road using a set of traffic lights. Now you may have noticed that that green man turned red and it was flashing really quickly. It's still safe to cross then, but it's just telling us that we need to get to the other side as safely and quickly as we can. Now kids, it's always preferable to cross any road at a zebra crossing or at a set of traffic lights. But sometimes you don't have that option and you need to cross the road like this but you need to make sure you do it safely. So remembering those four things, stop, look, listen, and think will help us get to the other side in a safe manner. So we've stopped about a meter back from the curb just to make sure we're a safe distance from any cars coming past. The next thing is to look to the right, to the left, and both ways a couple more times just to make sure that we're double checking for cars. We're also gonna be listening for cars and any other vehicles that might be coming up the road just to make sure it's safe before we step out. And the fourth thing is think, is it safe? Are there no cars? Now kids, when you're crossing a road at a place like this, it's extra important that you make sure you do the stop, look, listen, and think, because there's nothing to tell the cars that there are pedestrians about to cross. So once we're ready, we're gonna take the hand of anyone that's under 10, and we're gonna step out onto the road once we're sure that it's safe to do so, and always making sure that you're looking left and right and listening for vehicles as you cross the road to make sure it's safe to get all the way across. I think we're good to go. So there you go kids, the safest place to cross any road is at a zebra crossing like this one or at a set of traffic lights. But no matter where you're crossing the road, 
you always need to make sure you remember the four key things, which is stop, look, listen, and think. Kids, we'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend.